Okay, so I figured I would make a quick video on how to add a hard drive to Linux Kubuntu. And we're doing this so we can add a separate Steam library. A lot of these games that come on Steam are getting humongous now, so you may have to have two and three different libraries. So right now I have three hard drives connected up to my computer. Two of them are in use and we just added a third one. So I'll go through the process of how you get it to show up on Steam to install. So just for an example here, we're going to try to install Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. We'll hit the install button. And as you can see, it only gives us two choices. We have three hard drives in the computer right now, but it only gives us two choices. So I'll go through the process of how to get Linux to be able to see that third hard drive. So what you're going to have to do, you're going to go to your start and you're going to search for the partition manager in Linux Kubuntu, and as you can see it's right here, KDE Partition Manager, you're going to open that up. And since we're performing administrative actions here, it wants our administrative password, so we'll go ahead and type that in here. Okay, so as you can see on the left hand side, we're, we are picking up three hard drives, so that's good. The one we're trying to get Linux to see is the brand new one, which is this middle one here. So we're going to click there, we're going to go over here, right click on the unknown. We're going to click new. I typically leave it as ext4 file system because that's superior to any of the FAT or Windows NTFS. I would suggest just leaving it there. You can name it whatever you want. Just for an example, I'll just call it STEAM, all capitals. I'm going to click OK. And we're going to go up here and click apply and apply pending operations. It should only take a few seconds to change the file system on the hard drive and once this is complete it should automatically get picked up in Steam as a location we can we can save a new you know install a new game to. So we'll wait for it to finish here and we'll click OK and there's one more step we have to do, but just so you can see, we'll try to install it again. See, it's still not picked up, because what happened, it's only, it's only able to be accessed by the root user. So what we have to do, we're going to have to type in a couple commands into the command line interface. So we're going to go back down here, we're going to open up our console. And we need to change the directory. By default, it's going to be media slash com. So we're going to hit CD media ls to see what's in there, just to make sure. Yep, we're com. So we'll CD into com. And that was weird, it's like it didn't mount properly, but okay, we're good now. Okay, so now we're in here, we need to type sudo chown our username, which is com, and then steam. And we need to type in our administrative password since we're running a sudo command. Okay, and we should be good to go. Let's try to install this one more time and see if it picks it up now. Yep, we're good to go. See, we have three possible locations we can install the game now. So we can install it on our standard, under our storage, or under the one we just created, which is Steam, since we just gave ourselves permissions other than root to install. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.